Hello. I was going to say happy Monday. It's not Monday at all. It's Thursday. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Thursday. This is Check It Out Tuesday, Thursday edition. You're on Tamara's Paper Trail and I am Tamara. Let's wait a minute or two and get a few friends online. Give me a hidey ho. Let me know who's watching tonight. I am sitting here. Yes, look at all this pattern going on here this evening. It is like the frozen tundra down here today. <laughs> I'm like, holy cracking. Went for my walk this morning, came home going, oh my God, why is it 23 and a half, 23 and a half in the house? Turned on the AC, which is great on the main floor. I came down here and I'm like, oh my God, like, oh, fingers are numb. So I pulled out my fancy new wool Norwegian sweater all the way from Norway. Yes, yes, yes. Isn't it lovely? It's, but now I'm thinking, oh, it might be a little itchy. <laughs> Because I have a tank top on underneath it. Hey, Hope, hello. Give Hope a hidey ho. Nice to see you. Hi, Shayla and Cheryl and Mary. Yeah, this is, so this was um, one of the many gifts that we got from Stampin' Up! for earning the incentive trip to Norway, which leaves on the 21st of May. Uh, I will not be on that boat because my daughter's graduating, but we still get what's called the pillow gifts. Um, I got the beautiful little pin to add to my collection. So it says Norway. That gets to go on my collection. And we got this wool Norwegian made sweater. It's got the Stampin' Up! logo on it. Um, and it actually, it fits. I'm surprised. Like I ordered an extra large. I went, okay. Because I'm, you know, I didn't want to order a 2XL because I'm like, no, one day I'll like, I'll shrink and it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, it fits. Like, it's nice. It's long and it covers my bum and my kidneys and all the things that my mother always said that, you know, you sweat has to cover your kidneys. Apparently getting a cold in your kidneys was a big deal back in her day. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, hi, Jay. But I thought, okay, I'm going to crack out the Norwegian sweater to craft it because I am like shivering cold. I had my heater on, wasn't doing it. In a minute, though, it might get too itchy, so I might have to take it off. And then, Lord knows, like, I was putting on, like, what is going on with my hair? I don't know. I just had it cut, like, three or four weeks ago. But the bangs, nothing's cooperating, you guys. Nothing. <laughs> oh! Oh, God gvelt. Thank you, Tracy. God gvelt. <laughs> In my best Norwegian accent. <laughs> the, it is, it's beautiful. It's it's lovely. Um, I love it. It's a, like a, it's midnight, mo moonlight. Moonlight Madness? No, Moonlight. Misty Moonlight. <laughs> Look, what is that paper we have? Misty Moonlight. Hi, Donna. Long time no see or speak or comment. <laughs> we missed you on Tuesday. Where are we at? Um, anyway, so what else? What do I know? What do you know? I don't know. Um, I don't know what we're doing tonight. <laughs> it's the static in the air from the storms. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Hey, I have some more show and tell. Okay. So I got some new glasses. Now these are my existing glasses. I told you all that my, that's what I thought, Donna. I thought you were elder city. Um, I told you that my eyesight got better. So these that were my computer glasses are now my driving glasses, but they kind of work, they kind of work on everything right now, but I did get some new ones. And now you have to help me out here. Please do not lie to me. Do not lie to me because I'm on the verge of, do I return these? Do I really like these? I don't know if I really like these. The girls are like, no, they're nice. They're nice. I'm like, you're just saying that. I don't know. <sighs> what do you think? Okay, let's just do this. Forget the hair now that it's okay. I don't know. Like, I feel like, holy, these are huge. They're a little bit bigger this way. And I'm like, I'm not convinced. I don't know. Now, maybe you need to see it with my other glasses. You know, like you, you got to have the, how you got to have the full Tamara, you know, like, okay, let's pretend my bangs are working. Oh, that's not a good look. No. Okay. But anyway, like, I don't know. I mean, these ones are more fun. Now my head is crooked. These ones I think are more fun and more Tamara. These ones, maybe they're better like for, I don't know. I don't think I love, I look younger. Well, I guess I'm keeping them then. <laughs> really? I, and I don't know if this is a style, but I'm like, hey, they touch like, they touch here. A good cartridge down here. I don't think that's okay. What do you think? I don't know. Give me the honest truth. Well, thank you, Jennifer. But beauty aside, what about the glasses? I don't know. I'm not, I'm thinking they're too big. I have a tiny face. I don't know. Really? Vicky, you think? Do you th well, they do. They're, they're a white, like, look at them. They're, they're like a white up here and they're like a rose gold. I don't know. That's what I said. I said they're a little bit more inconspicuous, but I don't know. Maybe they're just different than what I'm used to. And maybe big is the style now. I don't know. 
I'm so not cutting edge. I, now I just look tired. I don't know. Do you think so? Anyway, no, they're not. <laughs> Like the doctor, he was like, no, you need to, you need buy like, why would you want two sets of glasses? I'm like, because I do. Because bifocals confuse me. But now when I wear these, I can only wear them. Like the, if I look up, then everything is blurry. So I don't know. <laughs> really? Okay, Vicky. Okay. Thank you, Mary. See, I think they look too big. No one else will say that with me, but thank you for your honesty. Wear them for a week. I thought you'll, I don't know how long you have to decide to return them. I don't know. I thought there was only a week. No, I don't know. Anyway, I am very tired. So just to give you a little peekaboo into my life this week, um, dad's in the hospital. So that's, I had to cancel a gig on Wednesday night. I was going to go live with my friend Andrea over on my demonstrator page, um, all about branding. Uh, but yeah, he's okay ish. He's got um, pneumonia and he has a bladder infection. Um, so it, it was a lot of last two days have been a little bit. Thank you, Janet. Look at me just you know, tell me I'm pretty. <laughs> New ones are bigger. Um, maybe Vicky. Yeah, I don't know. I'll see. They're different. Big is the style. Hey, all right. I mean, I can get, I can buy a new pair next year. Right. Okay. Um, well, I don't know. Okay. I don't know how I feel, Jennifer. Like I could be sworn, like, I'm not going to be offended if you think, if they, if I don't know. Anyway, back to my story. Uh, yes, you are Trudy. Um, yeah. So dad's in the hospital. Uh, so it's been, it's, it's been a, a stressful couple of days. My, my, my guts were not real happy the last couple of days, but, uh, he's where he needs to be and he's, he's doing well. Um, he's having some trouble walking. So they had him up walking. I think he, they think he went like five meters today. I'm like, well, that's better than he was doing two days ago because mom and I couldn't get him up. This was the problem is we couldn't get him up. That's a lie. We did get him up twice. My back did not approve of that. Uh, but he couldn't stay up. Uh, he just had, he was just so weak. And then, so we took him into the hospital and it turned out, yeah, he's got infections and um, pneumonia and, um, and such. So please bear with me if, uh, I, do I, okay. Do I ever have anything planned? No, but here's what I was thinking. I had a sort of plan. So for those of you who are demonstrators, we got an email the other day. Um, we get an email every week that's called succeed weekly. And, um, on it was an embossed, it was on a, one of our craft note cards and envelopes. And it was the daisies that were embossed in white and there were stepped up versions. There's a beginner, um, casual and avid stamper level, like, you know, starting off jazzed up a little bit, jazzed up a lot of it. And I thought, okay, I'm going to recreate that tonight. So I do want to play with embossing powders, but I'm not sure. Um, thanks Paulette. Um, I'm not sure what stamp set I'm going to use. I'm not sure what colors I'm going to use. So I might lean on you guys. Uh, thanks, Cheryl. I, um, like Donna says, well, I never listen to you anyway, but I'm, I'm willing to field, field some responses. Um, I'm feeling earthy today. And so let me just flip around. We're just, we're just gonna, this is going to be so cash and we'll see if we even come up with a card by the end of this. I'm not even sure. Um, these are the colors I pulled because I thought, I want to emboss and give it a bit of a pop. And here's a little bit of a, a segue. How this kind of came about too was this card that I created this afternoon, shameless plug, this class, ladies, I changed the, uh, I've had to push the date back two weeks because um, the shipping, it still says it's four to eight business days. And so that would mean I'd have to have your RSVP like within the next 10 minutes <laughs> to hope that product gets in, in, in time to you in time. Uh, so I pushed it back to the 16th of June. Just take that pressure off. I don't need that kind of pressure in my life. What? What? We'll just push back two weeks. So June 16th, I'm doing this class uh, with this set. Thank you. Thank you to Tracy for lending me hers. Mine still hasn't arrived. My my order still has not come. Um, it's shipped. It'll be here next week. But she lent me the layering leaves so I could design. It coordinates with um, the current punch, the bow, the bow, bow B-O-U-G-H, the bow punch that was from last year. Um and this coordinates with it. And honestly, I am not kidding you when I say I created these two cards in a, in less than 45 minutes from start to finish with design. And if you know me, that um, that is amazing. Like usually I can take two to three hours to do one card. And these ones just came together so fast. And this one I just freaking love. I love it. So now I'm kind of in a, let's do a, a light tone and some embossing on some darker, earthier, um, jewel tones or earth tones. Um, yes, I am feeling earthy. Yes. Like dirt <laughs> earthy. Yes. The earth tones. Um, so that's kind of how that came about. Anyway, this class 
bouncing all over the place. Did I say it's, I think it's $80 porch pickup, $90 long distance. There's a registration form. You can swap out product, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Anyway, this is kind of what I was, I, I like this feel. So these are the colors I've pulled. Um, a couple of stamp sets that I was thinking I've been using this one, so I'm not sure that I want to do that one again today because I've done it so much, but I'm thinking I'm feeling this one and maybe on the crumb, where did my crumb cake go? Here's my crumb cake. Maybe on the crumb cake because this one embosses is so lovely. Um, so I, I could try with the daisies with white. It was, uh, please don't make me do this one. Now gonna, Dawn is going to say, okay, now do this one. I was thinking maybe this would be good in the coppers. Um, but as, as it turns seven o'clock, I thought, well, let's see what's still current. <laughs> so I flipped to my catalog and yes, the embossing powders are the ones that I have out are still current. And I think I just passed the page. Here they are right here. So on page 136, um, the embossing powders. So we have, uh, they come in a three pack now. Um, so there's black, clear, and white, and then there's the metallics, copper, gold, and silver. And I just, I feel like I'm, in, I feel like embossing and, and or coloring. So on this card, you can see, I didn't emboss it. I just stamped it, but then I colored it with my watercolor pencils. And so I might just, I just might hang out and, and color on some dark colors and see what happens. Yeah. Okay, Donna, <laughs> do I know you or do I know you? I know you. And so I thought this might be really pretty in copper, like on, this is our, uh, a pretty peacock um, maybe with the copper so maybe I will just do some random stamping and uh, see how that looks I might I might not I make no promises this is the one they use but I've been playing with this one a lot too so I'd kind of like to try something different but I've been using this one a lot too probably because I love it you know what right now okay I'm gonna make an okay <laughs> the sleeves on this are a little long as well itchy it's pure wool holy cow but it's nice and cozy very co okay I'm I'm just gonna go with it um Maybe I'll do, oh, here's an idea. If I do this one and I stamp it, what would look gorgeous on this? Gold, right? Gold. So this is our Blackberry Bliss. So why don't I do the, state, the same image and just stamp it in the different colors? Oh, what did I say? Gold. Okay, gold or copper. Okay, what say you? Gold. I'm thinking gold on the Blackberry. I'm thinking copper on the this silver would look beautiful on this whatever that is um midnight moon, misty moonlight what else have we got we've got white i don't want clear and we've got black hmm. <laughs> i'm not feeling the black and i'm not feeling the clear like i'm maybe feeling the white what can we do oh, okay. this is the new we could try this with white sure there, I've made executive decisions. Thank you for your co Oh, did I do this one? What can we do this? Maybe we do white. What should we do? White on Peacock or white on Pebbled Path? Vote now. Copper on Crumb. Yep. Well, we'll see about the copper on Crumb. I've done that one a lot and it's nice. Silver, I've done on this and it's nice. So what should I do the white on? Peacock or Pebbled Path? Vote now. And I'll clear this shrapnel away. Once I get moving, I'll get more energy and I'll get warmer. So oh, things are falling. Things are falling. Oh, peak weed on. Okay, peak 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 peacock. That's what, oh, like trying out these new colors again. This really took the sting out of, um, this is the Lost Lagoon. It's really quite similar to Soft Succulent. So I'm not quite so sad about Soft Succulent. And I can let the Evening Evergreen go a little bit because I got the peacock back. So, you know, yeah, they're already dead to me. <laughs> All right, so we've got copper on this. Pebble Path. Oh, we got, oh, wait, now we got, oh, Donna. <laughs> Not Donna, I don't have the energy tonight. White on Peacock. So we got Peacock. Uh, one, two, three, four Peacocks and two Pebbles. Oh, hi, Mona Lisa. How are you? Uh, thanks for popping in. Um, you're a Winnipeg, right, Mona Lisa? Okay, well, I think we'll we could do both. We really could do both. I'll decide later. Okay. And part of me wants to do this because then I can color it if I want to. So let's do this. Let's do it. I think what I'll do for all of them is a solid base, like as if I'm going to make six cards. Come on. What, what are the chances, you guys? <laughs> okay, I'm going to do, so this one, 
Oh, I also have, okay, this guy's going back. That was Mossy Meadow, not feeling him. So we'll do a base and then a layer. Oh, Lord. A layer and a base and a layer and a base. Layer and a base. Layer and a base. And then, what do you think the chances are I'm going to spill? <laughs> hmm. Layer and base. Pebble path. Interesting. Okay. Black on pebble. Oh, I like that. Okay. Daisies. Ah, oh, okay. I'm thinking that would look sexy. All right. All right. Because I love you. Because I love you. Okay. We're going to roll this up. Oh, so hello, Nancy. Okay. So let's get, let's clear off some space now. Okay, I need I need different layers. Okay, ah, don't be spilling it. Jeez, Louise. So we've got one, two, three. You bet. I'm gonna make five cards. You bet I am. Four, five. We can do this. Why not? Now these layers. These are the pieces I'm gonna cut the layers with. So these ones I think I will go. Yeah, I did. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Tj or Tj. I'm sorry, Trudy. I couldn't do it. I'm just. I'm so used to it now that I ripped it off. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I am going to make this layer three and three quarter. No, I'm going to make it the same as this. Get out the Donner ruler. I'm going to make it, yeah, three and a half, uh, three and a half by four and three quarters, three and a half by four and three quarters, all of them. And then I'll put a different color behind. Three and a half by four and three quarters. Did you guys watch that Rollers game last night? Holy. I went to bed with about 10 minutes left because I just, I, I was so tired. Three and a half by four and three quarters. Looking forward to the next one though. Three and a half. It's quite funny because Technically, I should, I'm going to try, actually. I forgot earlier to put on my computer glasses to do my crafting. So I, because, like, these are pretty intense. And then, like, when I look up, everything is blurry, right? Because these truly are, there's, for the computer distance from here and then down here. So I was wearing them to do my cross stitching and it was the cat's backside. It was like, oh, I can see. I can see my stitching. Like, I didn't have to freak out my eyes and stuff. But I haven't tried it for my, for stamping so oh see that seems a little weird seems a little strong i don't know four and three quarters i don't know if i can do this oh you know what no i think it's the wrong distance i either have to be further away or closer i don't think this is going to work for me did i say three and a half I see it's blurry i can't see my trimmer okay well <laughs> that kind of defeats the purpose it's good for computer work yeah this is much better this way I don't know, something tells me I just wasted $250, but anyway. I could return. I did think about getting the exact same pair for computer glasses. Anyway. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Why do you feel slighted? <laughs> Why? What did I do, Donna? Okay. Did you because did you because you said black, but you didn't say black on pebble. I thought you were saying black paper. Is that what you mean, Donna? You know I love you. I would never slight you. Late to the party. Oh. Hey, Valerie. Um, we're just going to do some embossing. We're not really sure how this is going to go. I'm going to kind of try to do the same, um, the same stamping on each card. Tamara's going to try to make five or six cards here tonight. Um... I'm going to stamp the same, but emboss in different colors and see what we come up with. Oh, maybe. Did I see your. Are you talking about the black, Donna? I thought you meant black cardstock. Don't ignore. Maybe I don't see it. How about that, huh? Maybe. Okay, so they're my card bases. Look at these are nice. This is a nice palette. Look at that. Yes, that pleases me. Okay, so now I'm going to get out my my layers. Now I'm going to just bring in some scrap paper. 
I'm going to prep. Uh, oh, the sweater is a little itchy on the bare skin. Got to say, I need my embossing buddy. Oh, you guys, you're being very sensitive. That's right. You have to use capitals. Nancy's got it. She's got me figured. Um, okay. Nancy, how are you liking your cappuccinos? Is what's going on here? How are you liking your cappuccino? <laughs> We all see you. That's right, Tree. Um, okay, so when you when you do emboss, why are you this crooked? Hang on, everything's crooked. When you do embossing, you want to grab your embossing buddy, and I'm sure you've all seen that or done this. You want to prepare your cardstock by just swiping it with the embossing buddy. I think, I don't know if it's cornstarch in here or what exactly is in here, but it takes away the static. It takes away the oils from your fingers and uh, you don't want static because you don't want your powder to stick to your cardstock uh, where you don't want it to. So this, that reduces the chances of that happening. So I really, really, really love this set. Hello, Ida. Thanks for popping in. Glad you found it this week. You, you missed, you forgot on Monday. I don't know. Might have to banish you to the island. Donna, is there any more room on the island there for Ida? She forgot on Monday. I'm not sure how we feel about that. Well, I know how we feel about that, but I think we should, you know, maybe it's a three strikes you're out deal. I'm not sure. We could take a vote. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to do lots of different things here. So I'm just loading up my, my blocks with all the different images. Okay, I'll try to stay in the um, stay in the field of vision. Maybe I should start with a sentiment. What sentiment am I going to do here? Oh, I'm stuck. Hooray, it's your day. Thank you. I like you. I like you. <laughs> Here's a card. I like you. All right. I do need a lot of thank yous. I need a lot of birthdays. <laughs> well... <laughs> okay, uh, Ida, if you like curling and wine, you can head off to the island with the other girls. They're quite the little party, apparently. Um, I think I'll do a... Thank you. Let's just go with the thank you. Keep it simple. All right. So I'm going to load that one up, too. Okay. Now, uh, when you go to use embossing stuff, embossing powders, you need to have your... Versamark. There's gonna be an avalanche. Wait for it. Oh lord. Now I've only got about four Versamarks here, so let's see what we've got. That. Oh yeah, four. four, four. Why do I have four Versamarks? I hear you cry. I don't know. I do. <laughs> I guess for classes. All right. So this is. Ooh, that one's nasty. So what happens is if you, if you. This is how you know how well you've cleaned your stamps um, because it will pull the color, any ink that's left on your stamps, it pulls it on. That, that's why, let's try, I don't know, is this one sticky? Sure, let's just try this one. Um, that's how they get so gungy, is, uh, is pulling ink off. Okay, roll up the sleeves. Let's let's do this. Let's try to do a thank you. I'm going to do one and see if I like the layout. So we've got it, emboss, or the embossing buddy. I think this is juicy enough. Let's see. I'm going to do a thank you here. It's not very strong. So I think what I'm going to do, let's reduce this bad boy. Let me see if I can find my clear embossing ink. So this is Versamark stuff. And this is, what's this stuff called, um, Donna? This is called that stuff that we use from the baking. Um, glycerin. I think it's just glycerin. I could be wrong. Anyway, you just ink up your pad just like you would if there's anything in it, like a stamp set. I'm just going to squiggle it on there. I think I need some more. I need to buy a new one. Add that to the list. Is it empty? I don't know. It's just, it's thick. I think it's just glycerin, though. Actually, I know it's glycerin. Get out of there. Okay, let's so load that up. Yes. All right. Trudy, I don't know. You haven't been on the island long enough. I don't think you get to extend the invitation. I'm not sure how it works. Donna is the head um, 
Donna and Denise are the head um, the head um, <laughs> the people in charge <laughs> of the island. All right. Sorry, I dinged and I was reading at the same time. Okay, that, that hurt my brain. This Okay, I've turned this over. And so now I'm going to squiggle the back with my... Let's just get going here, Tamara. So I'm going to go with a thank you. Okay, that's juicier. Nice. Now I'm going to go in with um, various flowers. And this ink pad, this pad isn't very big. So I'm going to turn it upside... I'm going to turn my stamp upside down and go this way. Oh, you've promoted Je you promoted Jennifer. She's in charge too. She gets to say. Maybe we'll just keep this super simple. I had visions of really snazzing this up, but you know, I think it's going to be fairly simple because this is really just an experiment. So let's do two leaves here. Oh, that wasn't very dark. I should have gone a little bit harder on that. Maybe I'll just do some splatters. I'm scared. So first I want to see if this looks nice on a card before I go mass producing it on six of them. All right. What did we decide on the pebble? We were going to go with black, right? Okay. So I've got my black and I've got every little spoon that I've ever stolen or brought home from any ice cream place that I've had a little spoon. That's what I use for my embossing powders. Okay, and there's all kinds of flecks of nastiness in here from, I don't know what, little bits of paper, things and stuff. The two, my two favorite embossing powders are the black and the gray, or the silver. They really melt beautifully. Some of the other ones, not so much. Um, but the black... And the silver are quite lovely. Okay, look at that. Oh, it's going to look like um, velvet. So I'm just flicking it off to get any um, any extra. So I, I knew that that one wasn't very dark when I stamped it. I didn't have a lot of, of the uh, Versamark on there. So I'm going to add a little bit more and not fl fl um, flick it off so hard. Now I'm going to close the lid and then I'm going to blow <laughs> just to get off some of that. Um, I need to find my, my brushes. Oh, hang on. They're way over here in my other bucket. I'm going to grab my aqua painters just because they're really soft. And I'm just going to dust off any extras that, because once the heat hits it, it will melt and I don't want those, but I also don't want to tap too much of it off. I want that one leaf to be pretty, pretty, um, saturated. So I think that's good. So let's go. Let's do it. All right. Uh, let's see here. Who doesn't love heat embossing? I love it. <laughs> it is a great idea. Donna and Nancy. Okay. I look like I just woke up. <laughs> look at my hair. All right. We're going to get this bad boy to melt. All right, so you just, you need to make sure that it's all shiny and that's how you know it's all melted. You just take a little look in the, in the light and when it's shiny, it's done. Okay. Oh, hi, Donna. So there is the black on the 
petaled path. And so I'll probably be, no, that's not really a lot of stamping, you know, is it? That's, um, I guess we're both quick and easy. I'm just going to give you an idea. So these are, what, five by three and three quarters, no, four and three quarters. So if I do three and a half, okay, three and three quarters by five. I might go, I might trim this down smaller. I just want to see what's a good, a good border. It might be too fat. I don't know. Eh, that's nice. We could just go with that, right? But I kind of want more stamping, don't I? Is that enough? Do you think? I think it needs to be fuller. I'm just, I'm thinking. Okay. So that's the black. Now, what you can do too, uh, to snazz this up a little bit more, is if you grab your watercolor pencils. And you can just color inside the image. So I'm curious. Um, what color, if I were to color this would I want to use on the flower? I mean, I could just do white, I could do pink. What would look nice? And I can I can go like this and show you what the color would look like. I mean, the flower could be that color. You could just go with white. I could just leave it the way it is. Uh, I could do greens. Just showing you what they'll look like. Uh, I could do yellow, blue. Should I leave the flower just the way it is or should I do it white? Let's look at it again. I can't not color it. I'm going to try white. Because nobody answered in time. Blue. Oh, <laughs> peach. Too late. See, there's, there's that delay. So I'm just going to go with white and see how it looks. So you can color over the, uh, over the embossing and then kind of buff it afterwards, but this is going to really make it pop. Okay, just for the sake of speed and time. I wonder if I can buff that after and make it look nice and shiny. We'll go fast. Try to buff it off a bit later. But this is going to make it pop. Could even do in here. Let's pretend that I was actually taking my time and doing it properly. I mean, that's a simple, quick card, right? It's pretty. Javix. Yes. Now bleach, you can use bleach. There's so many different techniques you can do with this, um, as Cheryl says. So if you put bleach on the cardstock, you can get a very, very different color. Like if you put bleach on, say, early espresso, you get a real pink color coming through. So it's really, really different. Mm -hmm. That if you reheat your embossing after coloring it, we're getting it shot. Let's try it. Let's do it, Linda. Smarty pants, Linda. Let's do that. Oh. Is it working? I think it is. I'm going to check on this one vein. Little bits. Yeah. This is one's on the inside. I just want to see. I don't want to burn my paper, though. Well, a little bit. It's not ideal, but it is a little bit brighter on some of them. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. The black is not as shiny. So if I was to do this again, I just wouldn't cross over the lines like that. So I think that's really sharp. And I would probably do it like this. But I do want a little bit more. Um, I would like some more stamping on that. So let's try it with our other combinations, shall we? So the copper on the crumb cake. So let's do the same thing. Now, what did I just do? I did black. So let's get him out of the way here. So you know how that's going to end. All right. So we're going to do this. We're going to start with a thank you. I mean, 
I don't want it to look too crowded, but I also want it to look, all right, let's try. Let's try it this way. Let's go over here. So this one, we're going to do it with the copper. I'm going to go thank you over here. And then I'm going to do a big one. Let's go big. Did I do the little one? Nope. That's why I can't find it. I guess I didn't do it. Do the little one. It's definitely better if you get your pad nice and juicy. Yeah, again, didn't get that one quite right. Oh well. And then maybe we'll do a couple of little splotches. I don't know if I need splotches, but no, no splotches on you. Splotchless. Okay, let's do this in copper. see these little edges is it's where I caught the uh, I got a halo on my stamp you never want to blow right over your tub you go everywhere okay. heat embossing it's just very therapeutic very therapeutic all right let's try this one with the copper This one melts pretty good too. Oh, I like this one. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, it's gorgeous. Love it. I tell you, I've been in the zone yesterday and today. Maybe I just need stress to get me focused. Oh, didn't quite have enough copper up there. There's no up there. Now, if, like this one, there's not, there's not quite enough for my liking. Back in the day, we sold what was called a Versamark pen. And I still kept mine. It's the same thing as the Versamark pad. And the I wish they still had these because the beauty of these is you can go in and you can just touch up any places you missed. I don't even know if this is working. Let's just see. I think it is. Now you can also just get some glycerin from the drugstore or the baking section and um, you could use a blender pen or a q-tip and do the same thing it's just it's nicer and easier when it's oh lord okay yeah that worked <laughs> okay anyway that's the idea there put that in and close the lid put that in the drawer before I let's just melt this part yeah you can still get them it's just stamping up doesn't sell them Donna Oh yeah. So you can see there now I've got a nice glob of, anyway, I could fix that up later. So that is to go, what's this doing out here? I could have done a few extra little smooshes of like this little guy. So maybe we'll mount him and do him on a different color. Okay, so that's going to be here. And then what color, let me just see, we got this new, is this coppery? Is this clay? We could do this. 
Is that too in your face? What else have we got? Uh, copper work, or you could use real copper. Yeah. Um, if you have the copper foil. What is that here? You guys get out of here. Okay. You lose. Okay, so this will be three and a half. No, three and three quarters. Uh, three and three quarters by four and a half. Three and three quarters. No, three by five. Three and three quarters by five. You always add one and a quarter. Three and three quarters by five. So that's going to be that. Oh, really, Nancy? Well, now you know. You could write your name and emboss it, right? It's just, it's a pen. So that's going to be that. So we've got the copper. And we've got the black on the pebbled. Now, we are going to do, I think we're going to do silver on this. What did I decide? What else have we got? Gold. Gold on this one. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. I like that layout. I'm going to go with this layout again. That one's nice. Wait for one more time. Thanks, Cheryl. All right. It's nice to just play. 741. Stop it. It's nice to just play. Like when I've come down all this week, I, I've had a list as long as my arm of projects I needed to do for various, you know, um, I've, I've got my a team event on Saturday. I haven't designed the card for yet. Oh, what a surprise. But now I'm not going to dad's tomorrow because he's in the hospital. So that buys me some time tomorrow. So I'll do it then. Um, but anyway, it's just nice to come down and play without a real purpose. You know what I mean? No agenda. Let's just play, decompress, let the creative juices flow. Oh, this world, oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay. Um, now let's make sure we ink up. Okay, there's little bits and bobs in here. Flakes. Okay, let's. Press hard. Okay, and then this one over here. Can't see it as well. So we can go here. Okay, are you inked up this time? Third time is charm. Okay. Oh, that is gorgeous. Now, what about this little guy? Maybe can we do a couple of these little things? Let's go here. Oh yeah. One more for you, Donna. Three. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. It's going to be awesome. Love this one. Uh, yeah, he's okay, Valerie. He's got, um, he's got pneumonia and a bladder infection. Um, but he couldn't walk. That was the main problem. That was the main problem. Uh, Mom, you know, is his carer. And she can deal with everything, but we can't deal with him not walking. It's not okay. And they've got stairs. I mean, they're in an old house. The house, let's see, I moved, the, the house is about as old as I am. Okay. Oh, this is going to be sharp, sharp, sharp. Okay. Yeah. Nice. This would be really pretty in silver, too, on this Blackberry Bliss. Silver. Okay. Make sure there's no little rogue flex that I don't want. See, I, I still want to color all these white, though. <laughs> oh, that would be nice, yeah. I don't have that watercolor pencil, though. It's too new. There are some pinks. Or I can just leave it like a sane person. fun watching it melt. Very regal. Oh yeah. That's gorgeous. Holy cow. Shine on that. 
that one really does. Oh, I wonder if the heating changed the color of that a little bit. So that really screams to have um, gold behind it. What I have found in the past is if you use just a little bit of it, like a little tiny border, the um, so saffron. No, this is this is a did, did so saffron retire? Wait a minute. Oh no, there it is. No, that's lemon lolly. What? Did so saffron retire? I think it did. And I think that was okay. Let me just see. So far, I don't love this wheat on its own, but I just wonder if I had just a hint of it, that kind of pulls the gold. So you know what? Instead of doing bigger, because then it kind of pulls a little bit green, I'm going to do a smaller border. I'm going to just do three and a half and two ticks on this one by four and three and a half by four and three quarters and two ticks by three and a half and two ticks. And then it might pull a little bit more gold. Right. Okay, Tracy. Yeah, see, great minds, great minds. So if it's just a little bit, yes, it pulls gold. You can get away with it. If you do too big of a piece, it pulls pea green. <laughs> it looks like a pea soup. But with this little bit... And I'm just not assembling these because I just, I just want to make sure before I tape them all down that like I, oh, okay, I love that as is. This one I want to color. This one I do want to color. So like this one. Okay, here, okay, you know what? Wait, okay, wait, okay, wait. Okay, remember I told you I had all these baskets that I bought from, from Ikea. It can't be 746. I'm not done playing yet. So we have all these chalk markers. Of course, I have one, two, I have a whole bunch. There are gel pens that I have. I've got a lot of gel products. But in here, you can, um, does this even work, this one? Why don't I throw away the ones that don't work? How about we do that? There we go. This one's beautiful. So you can use a white pencil crayon. These ones, when you use these chalk markers, these are the old ones that we used to sell, you don't want to go over the embossing because it really does dull it. But this is a, let's just garbage it, Tamara. You've got like seven of them. Just, if it doesn't work, get rid of it. It's better. It just really pops the white. So you can see how that's coming along, right? What did I use for what, Christine? Anyway, that's, that's, I want to color those ones. It's just a really good look. This one too, um, I, I do, yeah, it depends on how good my marker is. If it's working really well, that's great. There's also the, you know, the gel pens that, um, if you've got a good gel pen, which I don't seem to have, honestly, you get the idea. Anyway, we can color it. Okay. This one, beautiful. So pretty. Okay. I still have two more to go. Ah. We were going to do silver on this one. I did gold. Oh, white. We were going to do white on the peacock, weren't we? Uh, behind the copper, that's the wheat. The wild, um, yeah, that's the wheat. The new wild wheat. So I was going to do silver and white. So let's just get stamping and then I'll heat them all together. How about we do that? So, so I really like that, uh, configuration though I think that's a good one that's a keeper so let's do that how did I get on funky petals emails I don't know I get emails from funky petals all the time okay so there's the thank you let's do it here at the same time I could use a little more juice actually thank you okay the big flower is have you guys been convinced to buy this bundle yet this is the irresistible blooms and the matching dies it is 38 34 dollars for the stamp set 48 for the dies it's in the online exclusive section of the website so it's not in a catalog uh, you have to find it online. You can order it on a demo order or any kind of order, but you only get to see it on the website. It's not in a publication, nor will it ever be. 
And it could go out of stock at any time. There's no guarantees it's going to be around for a year or anything like that. Yeah, it's okay. Why am I? Sorry, you guys. This one. So, yes, if you are interested in my layering leaves class, please register sooner than later. There is a link. Um, in my post that takes you to a registration form and I am loving it. It's called Jot Forms and it is going to help me get organized so that I can stop saying, okay, can you pay me? And then you can say, um, I already did. And I'm like, oh, that's embarrassing. I get <laughs> my last bank statement had three pages of entries. Um, I get a lot of e-transfers. <laughs> And if, if people don't, if we don't put in um, descriptions as to what it's for, I lose the plot very easily. So this jot form is, it's awesome. I love it. I can see who's registered, who's paid. I, it's just a good thing. So anyway, there's a link um, in my post, but don't wait because shipping times are still behind. Not too bad. They're saying four to eight days, and I think it's actually faster than that. I think they're fairly caught up, but they're just being cautious in what they promise. Okay, this one's going to be silver. Silver, 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 silver. And white. So now this one, I can already see I've caught quite a few edges on this, so I'm going to have to dust off a lot of it, but that's fine. Silver. Where's the spoon? There's no spoon in this one. All right, well, um, hmm. More than one way. I need a bigger container is what I need. I could use our tray. We do have an embossing tray. I don't love it. It's all staticky. It's one more thing for me to clean. This way if I just do it over paper, then I could just go like this. Put it back in the container. Okay, now this one I definitely caught some edges. So you just wipe off the extra like it never happened. Um, so this one, I, I saw this was happening. So I'm just going to grab my pokey tool in this case and just rub off where I want because it's much more fine. Doesn't have to be perfect, she said. Just trying to get it perfect. There we go. Good enough. Okay, and then this one we're gonna do in the white. It's like I say, this set, I like it more than I thought I would. Now how, look how old this embossing powder is. It's still the old blue. I don't even know if this is an accurate reflection of the white anymore. We had one that was called winter white. Um, I don't know if this is as white as the current one is, but I had so many old ones. I just couldn't justify buying. Oh, that's gorgeous. And now that they come in a three pack, I'm like, well, I certainly don't need any more black right now. So. Okay. Nope, missed a spot. That's why you need the spoons. Okay, got a few edges fully. Did that one exactly the same as the other one? So the white, you definitely see it when it melts. You see it when it's where you don't want it to be. Oh, I know they do. They last forever. I've got all the different colored ones from days gone by, like, and they're fun. We've got the old Tempting Turquoise and the Melon Mambo and the Cherry Cobbler. This one I'm just going to... Dang it, I should have my finer brush, but I don't have it handy. All right. 
Christmas heat set. These bad boys will be done. 755. All right, here's the silver. So fun to watch it melt. Ouch! my fingers. Okay, that's that one. Now this is supposed to be the white, but I, I suspect this is the winter white more than a pure white. And this one is my least favorite for melting. Yeah, I guess not too bad. It's just some of them really blend together really nicely. Like when it melts, it's just it's even. This one's a little pocky, if you know what I mean. That's beautiful. Love that. I just love these images. They're chunky. The beauty of this tech of the embossing too is you've got the embossing powder, you don't even need ink. Like you just as long as you've got your Versamark. You can still, these are the, you know, the new colors. Oh, that's lovely. I love that one. Love that. Look at that pop. Holy cow. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Thanks. Okay. So those are those. Now this, what I do for a color? Oh, you know what? I'll do a light gray on that. And then this one I'll do a white. So this one, the, um, the smoky slate is what we'll use for behind here. Three and three quarters, five. And then this one, I have a whole bucket of three and three quarters by fives somewhere. Okay, that, and I can't, this one I love, oh my gosh, I can't even decide which one I like the best, love this one, love it, the white, amazing, okay, silver, white, gold, that one's thinner just so that it doesn't pull wheat. Yes, they're so pretty, TJ. Oh, TJ, gosh, I'm sorry. My brain is not with me. Trudy, I'm so sorry. You see it, I say it, right? Okay, and then the black. I want to redo this black one. I'm going to redo him because I, I like, and then this one I'm going to add a couple more because I like this layout. This one's just a little lacking, so I'm going to redo this one and I'm going to color it nicely. Then I'm going to take pictures and then I'm going to share them all. Which is your favorite, you guys? Like that's, I don't know, that was a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> but it was it was fun and relaxing and I can't believe that was an hour. Um, which one is your favorite color combination? I think this one will be in a top one for me. This one, just because it pops. Might add a couple splooches. This one's very um, classy. This would be a great sympathy card. Great sympathy. Might just change up the sentiment on that one. Purple, yeah. The peacock, yeah, this one's just wow. So I would take more time and not be so flex. And I wonder if you can scratch these off. Maybe you can, but um so many different looks with our powders. I love it. The black embossing powder card, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna change the layout. Um yeah, I'm gonna do this one again like this, and I'm gonna add a few more on this one. So there you have it. Um, that was just a bunch of embossing <laughs> and or some coloring. So the white, you've got the option. You can go in with the uh, with the white pencil crayon. You can go in with the white chalk marker. Just take your time and build up the, the nice 
dark white on those. That will really pop. Black one is interesting, isn't it, Nikki? Yeah. yeah. Anyway. So that's me. Um, again, for those of you who are late, this class has been changed to the 16th of June instead of the sixth, or instead of the second of June, just to make sure that product can get there in time. You might already have the punch, so there are options if you just want the stamp set. There is a $45 option for just the stamp set and the and the cards. Uh, the sooner you register, the the more likely you're going to get your product in time. And I will send you the um, I'll send you the templates as soon as I get those cut this weekend. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Donna. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Linda and Nancy and everybody and all the people. Um, quick and easy, like in one hour, that's five cards that I would be very proud, aside from this one, I'm just going to redo it, <laughs> uh, to mail out. These are, they're simple. They're simply beautiful, right? They're simple and they're beautiful. Um, okay, so that. Now, tomorrow is Friday. I will be here. Uh, bigger wheat on the block. Yeah, it might might or I could do it at an angle do it at an angle so that more of that color shows certainly could I think you could you're right and I might we'll have a little play on that um tomorrow at 10 a.m I'll be right here with a cup of coffee uh because it looks like I need a little hagger but hey I made it through the show with my lovely new Norwegian sweater um coffee break 10 o'clock a.m mountain time tomorrow and then for my team, I will see a bunch of you on Saturday for my SSS Super Team events where we're going to have eight hours worth of presentations. So that's going to be fun. And then the rest of you, I will see... Oh, a jogathon. Fun, Ida. I'll see the rest of you on Monday for Mystery Card Monday. I actually have two options available to you. I haven't designed them yet, but they're right up here. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. And uh, I'll see some of you tomorrow. Have a great evening. <laughs>